guys welcome back to my channel today I thought I would do like an essential zero to three months baby items that I personally like thank the Lord that I got them so here we're gonna start with um, the bobby everybody needs a bobby now when I first um when I was in the hospital I really didn't like using a bobby because like I am on the chubbier side and it doesn't like wrap around like around me good you know what I mean but I found different ways to use it so you know obviously um, you know it's just a person's um, like preference I believe because sometimes I would use a pillow sometimes I would use a bobby but like in a different position um, but yeah the way that I use it now is I just um, lay it on my bed and um, Christopher's head goes in here and then the rest of the body is just laid out like that. So he really likes it um, and yeah, that's what I use the poppy for. The next thing that I cannot live without is a camera. Now this one is a Zuby camera I believe and like I like this one because like you can put it on the bassinet while he's sleeping and you can like move. The giraffe's head like it comes with like giraffe zebra i don't know what else it comes with but yeah and i can take it like in the car i can like wrap it around the uh, the head thing the head what is it called the um the headrest there you go and like i can see the baby there and it comes with like a little monitor so i don't have to be looking back i can just look at the monitor the next thing that i have right here is bottles now i have three different bottles two of them are from the same brand so this one is the chico bottle and the nipple is like this you guys so it's kind of like tilted to the side and this one it goes up to eight ounces the next one is from the same chico brand but you will notice that like the nipple the nipple is not tilted it's straight this one is for when he turns four months so that um, I tried to give it to him earlier and like the milk just gets everywhere and it's not good the next one that I have which is like the one that I love the most is this one the Dr. Brown's natural flow and the nipples like this now if you guys um like if your hospital gave you guys um Infamil or Similac little ready to go bottles. You notice that the nipple is just like this one And Christopher really loves this one now this one um my boyfriend got it off of Amazon And uh, it's supposed to like um Excuse me. It's supposed to like help with gas and um Burping and colic because he had really bad colic you guys and this was a miracle It has like three different pieces. So here's a nipple Right, and then it has this long tube, and then it comes apart. So yeah, I love this one. It came in a packet of five, so three, three big ones, and then two smaller ones up to four ounces. This one goes up to eight ounces. The next thing I have next to me is gripe water. This is the holy grail of all, like, um, what is it? Of all like gas dropping thingies because I also have this one let me let me get this one out for you hold on I also have this one the little remedies one but this one sucks I do not like this one this one the formula is too thick and I cannot measure it correctly and on top of that um let me see if I can get it out. the baby is supposed is this dirty because I used it earlier because I didn't have this one so yeah this one only has two measurements, 0.6 milli milligrams, maybe, is that what it is, ml, and then 0 0.3. Now, a baby is supposed to only get 0 0.3, but the formula, the consistency of this formula, it is so thick, you guys, that that is impossible to measure. So I don't like this one. The one that I love, with all my heart, is this one. It is the best, you guys. So if your baby has gas colic, um, it helps with gas colic, fussiness, and hiccups. So it looks like this. You can buy it at Rite Aid, Walmart, Walgreens, um, Amazon, whatever you guys like. The next thing that I have right here, 
Well, I have this one. Okay. Is baby Tylenol. Tylenol is a must-have. Even if your baby is not sick, stock up on Tylenol because it is really hard to find. Um, I believe I bought it when I saw one. It was in Walgreens, and that was like Thanksgiving Day. And I didn't need it then, but um, a couple weeks later, my baby got sick, and he had a fever, and I had one. So definitely go get you guys some Tylenol. And make sure it says infants on top. So I will show you guys. Okay. So, when we went to the doctor's, um, he got prescribed Tylenol, and it's, it looks like, I can't show you this one. It looks like this. I can't show you the other side because it has all of my baby's information, so yeah. It looks like this. He hates this one. This one is disgusting, but it helps a lot. So you gotta make your baby drink it. If anything, my doctor did say that you can, like, use the, um, the store ones, but he prefers this one because, you know... It's better, I guess. I don't know, but I give him this one. Unless I run out of this one, then I give him this one. Okay, so the next thing I have here is this thing. This will help you get the boogies out of your baby's nose. Now, you will not need it unless he's sick. For me, since my baby had um, the RSV virus, the bronchiolitis, from the RSV virus, um, I needed this a lot, and they also gave me this nasal spray, which you can buy whatever brand you like, whatever brand um you like of a store. But this one was prescribed to him, so yeah. I think I, this is my life, and it still is my life because recently he's he has like a little stuffy nose, so yeah. The next thing that I have is this. Vapo pads. Now this, I bought it when he had um, the RSV virus. Um, I also bought a humidifier. I got them from Target. So this is just like a little pad thing. And you open it and it's supposed, you're supposed to put it on the humidifier. And like the steam will smell like Vicks. Baby Vicks. Which brings me to the next thing that I believe most people should have. Even though if your baby's not sick, you're still going to need it. And it's really hard to find. So this is Baby Rub by Bix, Vix. So yeah, I love this one. It's not as harsh as the adult one. It's the same formula though. It's not as harsh as the other one. So yeah. And always make sure it says Baby on it. Now, the next thing I have is these little... I don't know. I forgot what they were called. Bibs. You need a lot of bibs. I bought these from BJ's. Um, the store is kind of like Sam's Club, but what I love about this one is that it has a teething toy and my baby started to, um, you know, his gum started to bother him, so I got him these. Obviously, you can use whatever kind of bib you want. I just prefer these. They are so cute and adorable. So yeah, definitely bibs. What else do you need? Baby lotion. My baby gets extremely, extremely, like, ashy. Especially like around the um, face area, like right here. So yeah, this one is really, really good. And it also supposed to, it says bedtime, but I use it like for any time. It doesn't really matter. But um, the smell it helps him calm down before sleeping, so that also helps me. Blankets, swaddle blankets. Definitely need this. Now these I also use like um, after I get him out of the shower. Sometimes, sometimes I use the actual bath towels that I have, but these are really cute, and um, I use them a lot, constantly. It looks like this. You can have whatever type of baby blanket you want. It doesn't have to be fancy, it doesn't have to be really expensive, whatever works for you. Now, when it comes to sleeping, um, when he was just born, like a month old, I believe, I used to dress him in these. These are little pajamas, but they don't have feet in them, and they zip like that. So at night, when I would change him, I don't have to wake him up, you know, I can just really like zip and unzip, and then he'll be, you know, clean. So I found these to be really helpful. I got them from Walmart. I think they were like really cheap, maybe like five or six dollars. Um, 
The other thing that you need, which if you know if you're breastfeeding, that's really good. But if not, formula. Formula is very important, you guys. What type of formula you get depends on you know whatever you want to do it. I have this. I have Similac, but um, the Similac one I got it for free. It was mailed to me, so yeah. But ever since he was born, he um, uh, the doctor and everybody gave him Enfamil. Well, I breastfed, but then um. Uh, I gave him Enfamil from the doctor, from the hospital. So, yeah. Um, what else? Baby cologne. Now, my baby, when he poops, it is explosive, you guys. And he smells really funky afterwards. So, I, um, if I'm not home or something, I use this baby cologne. Because I don't want him to smell like poop the whole day. Even though I changed him, you know, the smell still lingers around. So, yeah, baby cologne. I got this one from Walmart. What else? Teething toys. I have this one as well. I also have a couple of them. Some of them I have in the freezer because they are like um, those gel ones. You know, the ones that um, you freeze and then you give it to the baby. So, yeah. Um, okay. This one, I learned the hard way that I needed it. This thing. This thing is a thermos. With hot water inside right now because I just came back home. So, I learned the hard way to always have hot water, like, um, to always have this with me. When I, um, started giving, um, formula to Christopher, I would give it cold. And that would accept, upset his tummy. So, I started giving him hot, like, um, hot formula. Not, like, extremely hot, but, you know, warm formula. And that helped his, um, stomach a lot. So, my boyfriend, first of all, got me a bottle warmer, which is something that you guys will need if you want to uh, bottle feed or formula feed them because if it's warm, it will help with their stomach. It will settle down good. And then when I go out, I usually carry this with hot water and it helps really good. Like, it helps me a lot because um, before I used to go to like Burger King or something and then get hot water and then put the bottle in the cup and then warm it up whatever but my baby does not wait for that to happen he's like no mommy no I gotta eat so I learned to always bring this now I just put um since my baby drinks four ounces I put one ounce of really hot boiling water and then four ounces of um his baby water his baby uh, water that I bring in a separate bottle so yeah <sighs> I'm exhausted, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm making this video and I haven't slept in like... I don't know how long, you guys. My baby, like I said, he has, he's been having a stuffy nose again. So, I like to keep an eye on him. Because um, he doesn't even sleep by himself for more than like an hour or two. So, then the rest I have to be up, you know, holding him or whatnot. Because of his stuffy nose. Now, the next thing that I have here is a thermometer. Now, I have this one. I had the original one, the one that you stick up the baby's booty, but I don't like doing that, so I bought this one from Rite Aid. What you do is you turn it on and then you put it like right here and it tells you the temperature, which I find so much better, especially when the baby is sleeping and I want to check, check his temperature. I don't want to have to put anything up his booty. So yeah, this one works really good. What else? Um, I don't even use this that much. It's like a baby lotion, booty rash thingy. I said that all backwards. I'm sorry, guys. I can't talk. It's a diaper rash cream. I only used it like twice, maybe. I change my baby um, frequently, so I don't let him sit in his own poopy or in his own uh, pee pee for too long because I don't like it. He doesn't like it. Like, he'll actually cry if it's really wet, so I don't like that. Um, what else? <clears throat> What else? I'm trying to think. Oh, vitamin D. Um, if you're bottle feed, like if you're formula feeding him, um, you need vitamin D. Um, I have this one. It's from Enfamil. So yeah, you need it because um, it doesn't have vitamin D. Like wait, no, no, no wait. I'm sorry. I got that backwards. If you are breastfeeding, you need vitamin D, right? Yeah, because your booby does not, your booby milk does not have vitamin D. It has all the other vitamins except vitamin D. If you're formula feeding him, you don't have to give it to them that often, but it's still recommended. 
I still give it to him some days. Not every day. I used to do it every day, but not recently. What else? I'm looking at my little station thing that I have here. Mm, that is pretty much it. The last thing I was going to say was like, um, obviously you need diapers and wipes. So that's your preference. Um, for diapers, I use Pampers, Swaddlers, and for, um, Wipes, I use these, the Pampers ones, but um, I used to use the Huggies ones before and they were 100% 100 times better than these. These are not good. These are too thin. Like when I when he poops himself, I have to use like 20 of these just to clean the poop. So these are not good. I'm so sorry. I love their Pampers, but their, their thingies is not good. Huggies has a thicker like a thicker material and I can use like maybe five for his poops so yeah this one I have to use like 20 so it's just a waste of money and I don't recommend these at all and the last thing I was gonna say is a good diaper bag I have this one I have a what's in my baby's hospital bag and what's in my baby's uh diaper bag after he was born but um, I'll link them down below if you want to check that out uh, but that's pretty much all I have. Um, oh, a swing, a car seat, a play mat, and a stroller. Those are the big, huge items that I couldn't obviously show you guys because they're being used right now, and they're upstairs. So I will link that. I will link the the link. I will link the link. I will put the link down below in the description box uh, to the ones that I have. And I might insert some pictures at the end of the video of my baby playing with the play mat or the swing or, you know, other things. So, yeah. I think I'm going to wrap up this video because I hear the baby crying and that is my cue to go. So, I'll see you guys on my next video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.